be making basics. All right, guys, welcome to this lecture. Basically, what we're going to be covering is the five top elements of a beat site. OK, so let's jump into it. Um, five top elements of a beat site. I go by Ever J Music. Let's get it. Um, the first thing that you want to make sure that you have in a beat site is a logo slash branding. OK, I'm going to be showing you how to get a logo done for super cheap. And um, also, we're going to be talking a little bit about the branding aspect of things as the course goes on. But this is a very important. You know what I'm saying? You want people to be able to easily recognize your brand, easily recognize you. So pictures, logo, et cetera. Those are things that have to be on that site. OK, um, the next thing you want to have to have on the site is a beat store or a slash player. OK, some people sell their beats using SoundCloud, but I would recommend using you know, um, something more automated, something like BeatStars or Airbit.com. We'll be talking more about that later, but basically those two options, BeatStar BeatStars.com or Airbit.com will give you a beat store player that you can embed in your site. And basically that player, you basically can upload your beats to it. Okay. And people can listen to them and purchase them right through that player. That is really one of the main elements right here. OK, so you have to have that in order to have a dope beat site. Um, these are number two of the top five elements. OK, next thing is licensing terms. OK, you want to make sure things are very clear, you know, black and white, clear cut point blank, you know, for people. So you want to have those terms and conditions on the site so that artists can read those things and, you know, have a thorough understanding of what they need to do. And, um, you know, the business aspect of purchasing beats from your site. Um, obvious thing here is contact info, but sometimes maybe, you know, in the whim of things, we can get forget that that we need to put the contact information on there. Like so an email address will suffice um, if you want to put your you know phone number on there, too. But you want to make sure that they have some way to reach out to you outside of social media, outside of you know, an email contact form list or something like that. OK, which we're going to talk about next. I would say my pop, my, you know, my next opinion, the top five elements or the fifth element would be an email list builder. OK, um, I've heard this in, mo in, in in several different arenas or several different uh, industries that building an email list is right, probably the best thing you can do to build a business. OK, so we want to make sure that we include an email list builder. We'll be going over these in detail in the course and how to set these up using Wix.com. But these are the top five beat um, elements of a beat site. Now, there are some other elements. Obviously, um, you know, you can include your bio um, and about section. I have found that, you know, this is not necessary, um, depending on what you're doing. You don't necessarily have to give a whole lot of information you want to. I found that sometimes it's, it's really better to keep things simple, but this is something that you can do. OK, um, you can also put other products on your on your site. I mean, obviously, you know, as a producer, the main you know, product should be your beats. Um, but, you know, it's like for me, I sell courses, you know, you might be into, you know, doing presets, a VST, sound banks, different things like that. That's something else that you can put on your site. OK, and we'll go over how to set these things up as well. OK, don't worry. Um, the main focus, obviously, is those top five elements throughout the site. But we're going to go over how to add the bio to other products, um, a services section, blog. Um, these are some other cool elements that you can put on here to help engage your your target audience or whatever. But that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Let's jump into the next lecture where we're going to really be jumping into creating um, the site, actual site. OK, Wix. Let's do it.